Good evening, y'all. It's uh, Monday, May 11th, 2020, and I thought I would mix it up a bit. I'm going to start adding now to my post poetry, either written or that day or that week. I think it'd be refreshing to not do something that has not been published, and it's just out there. Uh, this poem just uh, was begging to be written today. I just sat down and wrote it. I succumbed to the urge. I don't know what it is, so maybe together we can find out. And I hope it makes sense to you. It still doesn't make really sense, a lot of sense to me. It's called The Last Laugh. <clears throat> the probably is because I was reading uh, Don Patterson's Landing Light. It's a fabulous book. If you don't have it, I recommend it. Let me see if I have it here. Oh... I guess I don't. So anyway, uh, and it goes like, a, if you check it out, Don Patterson, Landing Light. It, it won a ton of awards. It's probably one of the best books I've ever written, uh, read, sorry, read. And uh, he's just so talented. Like he's a musician of words. I think he's a, a jazz musician or something like that. It was my, one of the lecturers at the University of St. Andrews when I was there. Anyway, the last laugh. I didn't sleep because I was tired, rather, to get away from it all, to a world where no one knows me. There, all criticism will be founded, not merely observational. My eyes shutting are like the proverbial door, allowing for a window to be cracked open, but not for the purposes of exiting. I'm not going anywhere. When I sleep, don't make the mistake. I'm still here, just not the part you are accustomed to. Then again, I laughed at your jokes, which weren't that funny. That makes us about even. See, see you in my dreams, where I'll continue to laugh at your jokes. Who knows? Maybe one of them might be funny. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy that. <laughs> I don't know what that really is yet, or where it's going. But I enjoyed writing it. Give me a little... Sometimes uh, I've been taking advice of a friend who told me, to write when you feel like you don't have nothing to write about, but then that's something uh, uh, very, I like to consider him a friend. I don't know if I'm his friend, but a good mentor, Robert Crawford, the Scottish poet, fine lecturer, very patient man. I must have driven him off the wall. Apologies for that if Robert Crawford ever listens to this. And I have all his poetry collections. I even have clippings of his poems from the newspapers, from TLS and other places, but don't tell him I said that. Uh, and yeah, sometimes just letting that inner cheeky self come out and have fun, I guess. That's the best you can do sometimes. When was the last time you just let it flow, just let it out? Who cares what people think? It's a good exercise. It's uh, very cathartic. It's a uh, very, I don't want to say inspirational because, I mean, it's almost like an act of talking to your subconscious, to talking to your soul and saying, hey, inner Giuseppe or inner whoever you are, how are you doing? What's up? What's happening? Tell me. And uh, it's a poem that writes you. You don't write it. And I that's the kind of poetry I like to write. I don't like to write it. I like it for it to write me, to find me, to just basically pin me against a chair and say, you're going to write me or you're going to write me. And that's usually when I write. Unless I'm really angry at or very happy. You know, when I'm at the extremes, I also write. But I prefer to write right now. A bit of nostalgia came out in that poem. I hope a bit of humor. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. I hope uh, we can do more of this impromptu moments. I wish you all, all the love in the world, happiness and health more than anything. And hashtag, please stay at home. See you tomorrow for our episode in Castellano. Buenas noches a todos. Have a good night.